from? What are those things that render the fast makro? So number one, subhanallah, to put anything in the mouth. Sometimes we have the uh, bad habit of putting something in our mouth and chewing, right? Just a paper we put there and we're chewing. So to put anything in the mouth is makro, right? Number two, to gather a lot of spit in the mouth and then swallow it. Sometimes the children do that. They took the saliva and then they swallow it quickly so it, uh, you know, wetens their throat. This is makro, we should not do that. And so, from, so, uh, similarly, uh, to take out a lot of blood from the body. So for example, cupping, for example, going for a lot of blood tests. And the reason is if you're not strong enough, it makes you dizzy. And when it makes you dizzy and you're not eating whole day, there's a possibility that you will not be able to finish your fast and then you will break your fast. So to evade the dizziness and weakness, it's better not to do. However, if a person is strong and taking, mashallah, blood out is not going to really harm him, then it will, be, it will not be makro. What is not makro whilst fasting? Some people think probably we should not do it, but there's nothing wrong with it. So, la tukrahul umurul atiya, number one, to put oil on the hair, to put oil on the beard, to put oil on your body, it is perfectly permissible and it is not makru and it does not harm our fasting in any way. Similarly, to put kuhul in the eyes for whatever reason, a lady want to put her eyeliner, a man want to put kuhul, it's permissible and it does not affect the fast in any way. Similarly, to take a bath, so long as the water does not go in the mouth and nose, a person just wants to cool off. So he takes a nice cool bath, it's perfectly permissible and subhanallah, uh, it will not affect the fasting in any way. Number four, a person wets a bed sheet and wraps himself in a wet bed sheet. Probably we can un understand it here, but in very hot countries where it's over 40 degrees, sometimes people are very hot, it's, it's long hours and they want to wrap themselves with some wet towels or cloths. That's also permissible and it's, uh, you know, nothing against the, the fast itself. Number five, to um, gargle the mouth. It's perfectly permissible to gargle the mouth, but we should not be extravagant in the sense where we take it too deep and we give ourselves a chance of it going down. Just try to put the head forward and do it quickly and spit out. And number six, to do the miswak. Now this is amazing amongst the mashayikh, mashallah. The Shafi'iyah says that we should not do the miswak whilst we are fasting. It's better not to do it. And the Ahnaf says we can do it. It's a sunnah to do it. The Shafi'iyah mentions the hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that the smell that emits and comes out from the mouth of the fasting person is more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than musk. And by making miswak, you're taking that odor and aroma away. The Ahnaf says that the mouth odor that Allah's Nabi is speaking about, it's not coming from the mouth. It's coming from the empty stomach. So whether you clean the mouth or not, the odor that Allah's Nabi is speaking about actually is emitting from the inner digestive system because it's empty now. So that will not affect it in any way. To use miswak is mustahab and sunnah in fasting as much as it's sunnah out of fasting. But a person should do it very lightly, not rigorously. So small pieces of the miswak should not go in and also if he does it rigorously, he might hurt his gums and he may bleed and then the blood will go down. So he should be, subhanAllah, wary about this.